Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for a work tables essentials. So we are getting ready to, let me get this pulled up on my Facebook page. And that way I'll be able to see if there are any comments. So uh, we're going to work with the Everything Essential Bundle Pack tonight. That is in the the August December mini catalog. Everything essential is I'm gonna find it again right here on this page, and it comes with a stamps a set of stamps which has the six large images and then four small images for a total of eleven because these are I say four those are actually separate images. And if you aren't sure and didn't know this, in our catalog, when you see this shading behind an image, either here or here, something like this, that means that it associates with a punch in one of our collections. We either have a punch or a die. And then let me show you one other thing. When it's, um, let me find it when it's grayed out like this has the gray background this means it coordinates with a die and the die is typically going to be identified below the stamp name the stamp set name so that's just another little trick tip and trick for when you're using our catalogs that's true for the annual catalog as well as the august december mini catalog so if you don't know who i am uh thank you all for being here first of all this is i'm virginia porta i'm an independent demonstrator with stampin up i'm located in the united states and i do a wednesday work table wednesday live every week where I show you what I've got working on my table. Sometimes it's cards, sometimes it's gonna be scrapbook layouts, sometimes it's gonna be a 3D item. There's no telling. So let's go ahead and get started because last week we I talked for way too long. So stick around because at the end of this live, I'm gonna tell you how you can earn some free stamps and get the, the uh, components to make the cards we're making tonight, the, the cards and the tags we're making tonight, uh, for a very, very good price. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a piece of very vanilla cardstock. Now, this is one of our standard, we have uh, a number of colors. We have 40, 40 standard colors that we maintain, plus 10 rotating colors, which are called in colors. And then we have black, white, and very vanilla. Whisper white, basic black, and very vanilla uh, that are our parts of our neutrals. So we're going to start with the everyday, like I said, the everyday essential, everything essentials tag. And so I'm making a gift tag using Joy to the World. And I'm going to show you tonight how you can use your Stampin' Write markers to ink an image. And then we are going to simply ink it, stamp it, and we're gonna make a gift tag from it. So let's start with our tree. Now, when you mark, when you color a stamp and you use the brush tip of the marker, it's often a good idea to start with the lightest color. In this situation, I'm starting with the yellow for the star. I'm gonna use the granny apple green to do the tree. And you'll notice I'm using the broad side of my brush tip Let's see here. You know, the hardest part about this is getting it between the words to get the tree all the way down. Now you may say, well, golly, that how, how are we gonna transfer the ink to the paper? Well, I'm gonna show you something in a second. So we've got the, oh, we got a little bit of green on those letters. Okay, so we're gonna come back now with the Poppy Parade and get the letters that say joy to the world. So now we have the image colored in. So we're gonna put some moisture on it. We're gonna take it and we're gonna stamp it on top of the tag, just like that. And you're gonna let it sit for about five seconds. I'm put applying pressure, put it down for maybe five seconds, maybe six. And look at that, there you have joy to the world on your tag, just as sweet as can be. Then we're gonna turn around and take the two froms and we're gonna stamp to and from on 
onto the back of this tag. Let's get a blob. So let's put the two at the top and the from at the bottom because, well, I sometimes get busy and don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I put the from first and then the two and that doesn't work. So we're gonna flip our tag over. Now you'll see I made two tags and two um, backings because when I was cutting today, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because you never know when you're gonna have a mistake. And although every piece of paper has two sides, it's best to not have to redo it. So to and from, you've got that on there. You've got joy to the world. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna turn it over. I'm gonna grab a piece of this red, this red linen ribbon, pop it through. Well, like, you're holding her mouth just right. Now this um, backing on this tag comes from the Hello Hippo Don, uh, die set. So it's, it makes this nice octagonal shape. And it also has these great little, um, I'll call them holes, but basically it's like a hole punch. So you can fit your ribbons or your fiber through and create a tag. So here we have the first piece that's finished. Let's get this turned around the right way. And we'll flip this, tie a little overhand knot there, get a loop, and there you have a gift tag. Now, the other thing you can do with this is just juice it up, ju juice it up a little bit. We have every so it's sequence for every season, or every, what's it called? Sequence for everything, there we go. So let me get my fun tip, get my glue. Okay, we had a discussion today about what is the hardest thing to keep up with on your table and the glue, um, I think the glue may win in my category. Um, okay, so. All right, so now we're gonna put on, we're gonna make these look like little ornaments. We'll put three dots of this liquid adhesive. Now this has a super fine point, so you put a needle back in there to keep it from clogging. And then you use your pick a tool to pick up one of these items and you just lay it down. There's one, there's two, and then we'll pick up this gold. I say we're gonna pick up, there we go. All right, so now we have a little, little bit of bling on our tag. We have a two firm tag, and there you go. Quick as can be, a super simple card, and then it's already finished. All right, so let's move on to number two tonight. So number two is going to be making a, a card. Now, this set looks like it's generally uh, for holidays. So you got Christmas greetings, you have season's greetings, enjoy the world trick-or-treat and a pumpkin and then be mine and you and me but I think that this would be a great set that you could use to create just about any other type of holiday or celebration as well so I'm going to take the you and you and me stamp let me get this popped out of here there we go and this is a cute little set of birds blue birds and we're going to use the pool party. Let me grab the pool party ink. And we're going to, again, we're going to punch. Now, I said punch. Let me show you real quickly. This is the punch that comes with the Everyday Essentials um, bundle. So this punches out this tag right here, which is what associates or which complements all of the stamps in this kit. So this is part of the bundle. When you order items in a bundle, you get them at a 10% discount. So you get a little bit of a discount there. So these two items together, if you were to buy them individually, would be uh, $38, but with the bundle, it's 35. So there's a little bit of a discount. All right, so we've punched out in white, whisper white, and so, and I've pre-cut a card base. So let's take the pool party ink, tap, tap, tap. And all I'm going to do is 
stamp it like that and I stamped it upside down I think because I was gonna design it the other direction let me see if I can stamp it upside down I think it's gonna look any better okay now something that you can do with our not the Stampin' Right markers but with our Stampin' Blends which are alcohol based inks you can take any ribbons that are white or neutral and you can color them. So what I have here is a, well, we're just gonna do it this way. We're gonna put this on with little dimensionals. Pop that up just a little bit, give us some depth off the page. And then, and like I said, there's always two sides to every piece of paper, so. There, I've used two sides to my paper. There we go. So if you're thinking about ordering anything tonight or in the coming week, here's the workshop code, uh, the current workshop code. It's MTCS2XBU. So let's just line this up. Now something I do, here's a little hint. When I'm lining something up, if I've cut it and I don't remember exactly what the spacing is, I'll put it upside down to see what my spacing should be. So now when I come in like this, I know better how to space it. And I also don't have to stand up and put my head over it and get my head in your way. Now that's gonna go on the front of the page just there, on the front of the card there. But before we do that, we're gonna wrap a little piece of ribbon around the card base just to zhuzh it up a little bit, give it a little bit of flair. So this ribbon is starts out white and then I've taken a blend on one side only, on one edge of the ribbon. And let me see if I can tie that. There we go. All right, let's do that again. I don't think I got my ribbon quite long enough, but that's okay. I tell you what, I'm just gonna go with a knot, and then we can trim off the loose edge, the long edges later. So let's just trim those. You know, you can always trim your paper, or trim your ribbon down. It's okay to cut it a little bit long sometimes. There's plenty of ribbon. So then we're gonna take our Stampin' Seal, which I can't put my hands on right now. Well, I pretend this is stamp and seal. It actually is stamp and seal. It fits in the old fast fuse. So this piece right here, pool party, is two and an eighth by one and three quarters to fit as a, as a border around the punch. So it's two and an eighth by one and three quarters. So we're gonna put that right there in the center. We're gonna straighten it up some. I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna take these epoxy dots, which are clear and frosted epoxy dots and using the pickup tool well, I guess I've used all the frosted ones and we're going to put some of these dots on the front of this card you've heard me say it before do it in groups of three it just is more pleasing to the eye there you go or at least odd numbers three being the minimum and so there you have it. Super simple, quick and easy anniversary or happy birthday or just an I love you card. So that's item number two. So item number three is gonna be a seasonal card using both the Everyday Essentials as well as the, um, we have black organdy ribbon Gonna use the hammered metal 3D embossing folder and the black the ink. Okay, so on here I have a base card. This is gonna be a top folding card. Cut it five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it's a top folding card. Before I came to the class, I had prepared a four by five and a quarter. This is smoked, smoky slate. 
This is basic gray, so I had taken a four by five and a quarter piece of basic gray cardstock, run it through the 3D embossing folder through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'm gonna put that on the front of the card. But before I do that, I'm going to pick up a piece of this glittered organdy ribbon. Some of you may recognize this. This was actually held over from last year. This is a great ribbon. So we're gonna put that there. Now I'm not gonna fix this yet because I still have some stamping to do. In the meantime, before class or before my demonstration, I pre-cut uh, from the basic labels punch, this straight label that has the points on both ends. Now you know me, I love this punch and I use it a lot of the time. So we're now going to say we have all, we have uh, six different tags and we are going to affix that. We're going to set them right here and we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. So I have both a haunted house and a pumpkin. So for the haunted house, I'm gonna use the black ink and for the pumpkin, I'm gonna use, I know, this is original, pumpkin pie ink. Let me grab the pumpkin pie ink. And then my memento black is, strangely enough, put away. Who to thunk it? Okay, so we will take this off of here. Now I'm gonna clean all my stamps after I finish with my demonstration, but we'll get to that in a minute. So now when we do this, I'm gonna lay these tags out in this formation on the card. So we don't wanna turn all the tags the same direction to stamp the images. So I want to have three of the haunted houses and I want two of them up ways and I want the other one up here. So I'm gonna put these in order right here and stamp these. And now I'm gonna stamp one. Stamp one going the wrong direction or at least you think it's the wrong direction. And stamp the third one. All right, now let's cover this up. Let me get another block, so I don't wanna handle that block right now. So then we're gonna do the same thing with the pumpkins. We're gonna turn one of them around so that when we go ahead and put this on the card, they're all going the right direction. So let's open this pumpkin pie. Okay, so there's one. I think my pumpkin pie needs some love. I'm not really sure. Two. Maybe I need to re-ink the pumpkin pie. And three. I'm sorry, I realize I'm getting off camera. So, all right, there's that. Now, before we put this together, we're gonna wrap this ribbon around the card stock, the piece that's separate. So we're gonna cut a little bit extra. And we will come around here. We put a knot in the center of the card. And then hold my tongue just right and make that work. Okay. We're gonna center that, come back and again, trim my ends on my ribbon. Now we're going to attach all of our tiles or punches, however you wanna call them. So why don't we put them under the ribbon? That might be you know, that might be more interesting than trying to put them on top of the ribbon. So they'll fit on here perfectly, just like that. 
So now what I need to do is just now come and attach them with the tiniest bit of margins. Let's turn this and we'll do this. But see now, when you come back and look at it, the pumpkins are actually facing the right direction, as is the haunted house. Now to make this fit on this card perfectly, I'm actually tucking one tag underneath the other to make it fit and then cannot. okay so let's put this on here like that So there's the front of your card. Now the one last thing I want to do is add a sentiment that I'm gonna to use to add right here. What I have found is that there is a set called Festive Post, which I will actually be highlighting next week, which is an excellent set. It has several sentiments in it. Actually, uh, I guess it is supposed to post. No? Well, I can't put my hands on it now. Here it is. I'll take it back. It is festive post. Man, I thought I'd lost my crazy mind. Okay, so these are photopolymer stamps. You know, the other stamps we used earlier tonight were red rubber on a cushion background. This stamp says, Witching You a Happy Halloween. Well, now, that's adorable. However, I don't necessarily need witching you. I just want happy Halloween. So what I'm going to do is very carefully place my, there's my sentiment. Now I'm going to put a piece of paper next to it because I want them to be the, basically the same height. And generally you would use this as a, as a uh, scrap paper. So I'm gonna stamp this so just the Happy Halloween gets on the little tag right here. So there you have it, a little Happy Halloween. And we're gonna put that up with some dimensionals on the front of the card. Over one, two, three, and then let's see here. Flip this over, make sure that's right side up. Put Happy Halloween right there, and then we'll take our adhesive and put that on here. Oops. These dimensional backs, as we've talked about this, they get everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do, where you go, the dimensional backs follow you everywhere. Okay, so there we'll just set that on top of that. And there you have it. In 15 minutes, no, in 25 minutes, we've made a Christmas card, I mean, excuse me, Halloween card, an I Love You anniversary card, or on the and a Christmas tag. So there you have it in three simple projects, all using the same set and have distinctly different types of projects.
So I said earlier, if there was something you want to think about how to get some of these things for free, let me tell you a little bit about the way that Stampin' Up! works their starter program. We've got to create your own starter kit that we can always do. So for instance, if you wanted to make everything that we had here tonight, you would get the Everything Essential Bundle, which is $35, which we've already talked about. It is this stamp set and this punch for $35. And then I've made a little grocery, a little grocery, a little shopping list of things that you would else you would buy to create your starter kit. And the way you create a starter kit is to find $25, $125 worth of merchandise that you would like to purchase. But the kicker is you only pay $99 for that and you don't pay any shipping. So you actually are getting a really good deal. So you, right there, you get $25 off for the beginning. But correct, right now, Stampin' Up! is running their Get and Go special. So in addition to everything you would need for your starter kit, you also get two different stamp sets. You get the So Much Love stamp set and the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, which are both in the annual catalog. And you get supplies to make 16 cards and envelopes. So you can either sit down as soon as you get your kit and start creating, and you immediately have 16 cards to send to your friends and family, or you can host a class. If you decide to sign up and be a starter, get a starter kit as a demonstrator, aside from the fact that you get $25 off of your first purchase, which is $125 for $99, I'll help you with your first class. And then at that point, you get a minimum of a 20% discount on everything you order, as long as you stay active as a demonstrator. So what would go in this kit? We would have the bundle that I mentioned. You probably need to get an acrylic block. And if you have acrylic blocks, that's great. You'll want stamp and seal. That's our adhesive. Every season ribbon combo. That's a combo of ribbons that Stampin' Up! has put together, and it includes the white ribbon that we used that I colored earlier. Um, you would want to get the frosted and clear glass droplet, uh, clear droplets. These are just examples. You would also get a set of write and stamp and write markers. The stamp and write markers are not sold individually by color. They're sold by color family. We have four standard color families, and then we have two sets of in, co in color colors, which are rotating colors that are good for two years. Um, you would also want to get the same colors that you get the markers. You would probably want to get the same family set of assorted cardstock so that you could do some of these things with the background colors, or you could do this background here. So you would get a sort of cardstock, and then you would obviously want to get a kit, excuse me, a kit, a package of Whisper White cardstock, and then a package of envelopes, and dimensionals, because, you know, we can't work without dimensionals, and of course our favorite, Memento Ink. This is one of my favorites. All of those things together are $125.25. You pay only 99 Then on top of that, you get the Get and Go Special. Now, this is only good during September. And so the sooner you, uh, the sooner you snap that up, the better off you're going to be. So one of the stamp sets that you earn for you that you would get for free in the Get and Go Special is the Queen Anne's Lace, which is this set right here, which is beautiful. has great sentiments as well as some beautiful artwork. And the So Much Love set on page 53, which also has, it's a different kind of sentiment, So Much Love for You, You Made My Day, Here for You, and then some open work on these florals that you could very easily color, either with colored pencils or um, with a water marker and those types of things. So all of these things are together, and that's why I keep saying is that this is a great deal. So you would get everything you would want to make for these types of cards, but then you could also get all of these other things with it. And like I said, this, I want you to think about this. This is a great deal. So if you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be able to help you out. Just l drop me a message, email at virginia at dreamincolor72207.com or DM me through Facebook, either way, and I can get you a catalog in the mail to you. I would love to be able to help you out. If you don't already have a demonstrator that you work with here in the United States, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great time. Make something pretty this week and send a card to somebody. Make somebody else stay, make, make somebody else smile this week. And if not, if I don't see you before then, I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Take care.